Okay. <laughs> you would think I would know by now, and you think like everyone else, guess what? There is no shortcut to losing weight. So for anyone out there, a lot of people were asking me what is involved in keto diet or a ketosis diet. Uh, basically, you want to keep your carbs under 20. Remember that number. Whatever you eat in a day, keep your carbs under 20 and you're generally going to stay in ketosis, which helps you burn off fat, doesn't help your sugar stores up because you're eating very, very little sugar and it's a, it, you can lose weight. I eat a lot of chicken, a lot of beef, a lot of pork, a lot of fish I, and cheese and eggs. That is my main diet right now. But as a person, you like to have some variety, right? You like to have a little bit of variety in your meals and you're looking for snacks because you can't eat chips, you can't eat popcorn, you can't have a chocolate bar. They all knock you out of ketosis. So I started looking for an alternative and some snacks. And in my endeavor, to look into all these things, I found out that it's, I, I have had no progress in almost a week now. Uh, even though I'm exercising more than ever, my diet is basically the exact same except for these things that I've started adding. And I started adding flaxseed, crackers, and cheese. Well, the cheese is perfectly fine. Trouble with these crackers is, for every two crackers, and they're not very big by the way, uh, two crackers is seven carbs. And I was having four of them with cheese as my snack for the day. Which means that's 14 carbs out of my 20 just having four crackers. No. Then I bought organic spaghetti. That way I can have hamburger, maybe some mushrooms thrown in and you know this is all no sugar no things like that so i was saying okay at least it gives me some texture it gives me a little taste difference than just eating meat and you know eggs all the time trouble is this is four carbs so throw that in with a can of mushrooms which it turns out to be five carbs that's nine carbs without eating anything else in the day. Just this and mushrooms. And the same thing goes for the rice one I bought. I bought a rice and a spaghetti pasta kind of thing. And it's, you know, it looks really good. Zero sugar, zero fat. Uh, it should be very easy. Now, if I just had this and no crackers, I should be fine. I'd be under my 20 carbs. So. And then I said, well, what, what about a sweet tooth? Once in a while you feel like something sweet. So I started buying keto snacks, little chocolate bite-sized things. And these things are literally <laughs> this size. So they're not even the size of a chocolate bar. They're not even the size of a granola bar. They are very, very tiny. Now, one of these has uh, one gram of sugar in it and it has five carbs in it. So just one of these is 25% of my daily allowed carbs. So again, if I only ate that, <laughs> I would be fine. So my progression right now, now I am exercising on my rowing machine a lot. I have been rowing uh, about 3,000 strokes on average a day now. I go for a walk every single day around my neighborhood. So I'm getting my cardio kind of exercise. I'm getting a little bit of strength training in there. I do feel a difference in my lung capacity and I feel a difference in a lot of things. So that's all good news. But I'm not in ketosis, so I'm not losing weight. I've been stuck between 195 and 193 for seven days now. And while I don't expect to lose two pounds a day or three pounds a day, I do expect to see some progression 
you know, it point four one day, point two the next day, one the next day, one two the next day. You know what I mean? Over the course of a week, I expect to see some gains in my loss, and I'm not seeing that right now. So, what do I do in a case like that? Well, I'm cutting those out. I'm cutting those out completely for now because what I was doing before was keeping me in keto all the time. I was in full ketosis for, you know, a week solid. I saw huge gains in my weight loss. So trying to, trying to bend it, trying to go around the curve, trying to make things easier on myself. Easy doesn't work. Slow and progressive wins the race, right? You, you do things properly, you're going to get better results. And I tried to cheat here. Uh, it doesn't say, well, not really cheat. I tried to find alternatives that will still work. I bought only things that said keto friendly and keto bomb and things like that. Yeah, they may be keto friendly, but when you add them onto your normal daily meals that you're having, it ends you up uh, over that 20 limit. And, uh, and this morning, uh, I ate a meal last night. I ate fish and pork and two eggs. And normally I would be so in deep in the keto eating a meal like that. Nothing but healthy oils, healthy fats. Great. Uh, and I had four crackers last night and I had two of those little chocolate snacks thing. And I'm completely out of keto this morning. So as little as those sound like they're giving you in sugars and sweets and things like that, uh, they are knocking me out of, of ketosis. And they may be good to, you know, have that once in a while. Once a week, have that. Have some crackers once or twice a week. But having them every day has been de detrimental to my attempt. Now, I still feel I'm doing pretty good considering where I was a little while ago. Um, here, let me, uh, I'll even put up a picture here. I'll show you my progression so far. Sorry for the scars, uh, but remember I've had a lot of surgeries over the past five years. Uh, so yeah, here you can see my progression so far. Down from 215, and this picture wasn't even taken when I was at 215. I think I took it at like 209 there. So 215 pounds down to 196 pounds when I took that picture. And I've dropped a few pounds since then. So I'm really hoping that by the end of this weekend coming up, today's Wednesday, I want to be below the 190 mark. Uh, so I am forgoing my sneak around, work around diet, if you will, and going back into full keto. And I'll tell you about it next week and we'll see if that makes a difference at all. Well, hope you like this video. Why not check out some more of my other losing weight videos around or anything else for that matter. And until next time, well, <laughs> we'll see you in another video.